What is the biggest ick in a guy? When he has money on Instagram but doesn't have money in real life. Like he has a car on Instagram but then asks you to pick him up. Did you pick him up? Yes, I picked him up. Did he smash? Ah. I loved him. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. Pie down. Tell the nigga pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, shout around? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. All right, guys. So <laughs> as you can see, the sugar baby sugar daddy trend has exploded. And it is stronger now than ever before, okay? You have modern women who are openly, willingly, and confidently selling that WAP to the highest bidder inside of the senior home, okay? Um, these women obviously don't really have that much self-respect uh, because they are selling the WAP to men that they would never be with. Now, in this case, you can see the body language. Her body is angled away from the man. The man is resting his chin on her shoulder giving her neck and cheek kisses and even when he goes for the kiss she kind of leans back and then gives more chin than anything um i don't know how she's stomaching sleeping with a man like this because i wouldn't be able to stomach sleeping with a woman um his age however these modern women these gen z women it it, it really doesn't matter to them because they are used to selling the WAP with the advent of OnlyFans. Uh, they are able to stomach different types of men inside of them. And this has now become the norm because women have completely turned away from modern men and went straight to the streets. So uh, you're going to see a lot more of this. You may not see it in public, but best believe that it is happening um, in the shadows. But if you go to a major metropolitan city, you're going to see it everywhere. So, um, you know, I'm in Atlanta and that reminds me, uh, there was a report in like 2016 that said uh, at least 10% of women at Georgia State, um, the uh, prestigious university uh, known for their business school in the city of Atlanta, 10% um, of those women are on sugar sites. And that was in 2016. I bet that it has increased to almost 30% at this point. So if you have a woman who's going to college in a major metropolitan area, you might as well just chalk her up to the game. I just wanna know, do I look inappropriate for work? My dress code is a polo and dress pants or jeans, no rips. I'm dressed appropriately. However, I was called into the office because I don't have the right body shape. I cannot help my body shape. I got a verbal because of my body shape and I was told I need to wear bigger clothes. I don't appreciate being body shamed. I'm being body shamed. They don't know what I went through in my life and the trauma that I went through to have to deal with being body shamed at work. All I want to do is work. And I'm not being dramatic, but you pulled me away from doing my job to tell me that I have the wrong type of body to wear the clothes that I'm wearing. I have on regular dress pants. And your excuse was the men in the tire shop and the boys keep stopping and looking at me. That's not my fault. You don't know the type of hell I had to go through my whole life just for how I look. You don't know what type of mental trauma I might have from having to be misunderstood for me to come to work to have to hear oh you have the wrong body shape to wear the right clothes though because I'm in dress code 
All right, guys, so um, let me break this down for you. Women have a very hard time understanding this, and you know, this could also be why the gender pay gap is, or the fake ass gender pay gap, right, is where it is now. Because y'all don't know how to follow directions. Clearly, this is not the correct attire for Costco. Oh, well, reclaim, how do you know, bro? You ain't never did it, and you don't know nothing about Costco. Uh, um, actually, my sister is actually up for promotion at Costco to become a manager, and she's pretty much on the track for regional manager. So I know a little bit about Costco, right? Um, she is absolutely not in the correct work attire, okay? For one, she knows what she's doing. She's talking about, oh, I got this trauma from my body and being body shamed and all that stuff. Girl, you damn near look like you got a BBL. I wouldn't be surprised if she got a BBL. And she went there to show off them damn pants and show off her new body. And she thought she was going to be able to get away with it, and she didn't. And now she's crying victim when in all actuality she knew what she was doing. Those pants are too damn tight. Okay, the shirt is too damn tight. You know that you're busty. You know that you've got wide hit, wide hips and a big behind. And you should dress appropriately, okay? You should wear um, pants that fit you more around the waist, but that bag once it, that fall and, and, and kind of fall over your shape and do, doesn't really show it. And women know when to show their shape and when not they know which clothes show their shape and which clothes show their figure and which clothes do not and it is a hundred percent inappropriate for her to wear these skin tight clothes to work to costco where there are families coming to shop and trying to get things in bulk when when you know you have children who are running around with their parents it's inappropriate and it doesn't represent the mission and vision and, and the values of Costco. You're lucky your behind didn't get fired. You're lucky you got sent home. Well, maybe this is how she is going to springboard her OnlyFans career because we know when modern women fail in the corporate world, where do they go? Straight to OF. What is the biggest ick in a guy? When he has money on Instagram but doesn't have money in real life. Like he has a car on Instagram but then asks you to pick him up. Did you pick him up? Yes, I picked him up. Did he smash? Ah. I loved him. Okay. City boy, city boy. What? So there you have it. The man asked her, what is an ick that you have? And she's like, oh, when you got money on Instagram, but you don't got money in real life. We got a car on Instagram, we didn't have a car in real life. Well, I'm here to tell you that none of that matters if you're hot enough. Yes. And... You know, people are like, oh, you know, uh, she, she she's ignoring the normal guy for Chad and and, you know, Chad can get it. But the normal, oh, uh, this ain't Chad, bro. This is not Chad. This is who can anybody in the comments say it with me? Yes, this is the thug maxed alpha simp. OK, he's probably acting like he balling, balling, got stacks of money on Instagram, sagging his pants, acting like a gangster. He got a SoundCloud link in the bio. And, you know, he's showing Maybachs and Rafes and, and, and Lambos that, that he's posted by, but he ain't got it. He ain't got none of it. He's faking it till he make it. This is the Thug Max Alpha Simp, okay? Thug Max Alpha Simp. Do not forget this term. What is a Thug Max Alpha Simp? Okay, a Thug Max Alpha Simp is an individual who is Thug Maxed, okay? He may have face tattoos. He may be, you know, rocking the swag of a hoodlum, okay? He he's he's rocking the 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 uh you know the skinny jeans but sagging with the with the oversized t-shirt and you know the tattoos everywhere. He's 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 he, he has fully engulfed himself within the hood swag if you will okay um so that is thug max okay he may have the chains on even all right thug max all right now the alpha simp part now this guy is not truly an alpha because he doesn't have his life together he doesn't understand how to you know navigate in the real world um but he is a perceived alpha by women like this and other black women most black women um, would perceive this man as an alpha 
Be, not because he's an alpha in real life, but because he's a perceived alpha in the community because, you know, most of these guys, they're bullies, you know. Maybe they're busting their gun. Maybe they're hitting licks. Maybe they're scammers. You know, maybe they trapping, whatever it is. A lot of these guys are bullies. So they are perceived alphas in the community, but we know that he's a simp because he will crash out over a woman and crash out over a conflict that could have been resolved verbally, all right? <clears throat> so... This woman, you could tell that she's all for the Thug Max Alpha Sims, okay? You are not going to be able to pull this woman if you speak the king's English. You have to switch up your slang. You have to switch up your dialect. You have to switch up your annotations. You have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, shit, you know, I, ain't, I really might not have had a car in real life, but you've seen it on Instagram, shit. Take a picture, it'll last longer, you feel me? Like, hey, really... You know what I'm saying? I really don't even like rocking with shit like who really gonna look at the gram and stuff like that. Like, you really shit, shit you met me in real life, then you gonna look at my Instagram, bro? Like, that just lame in here. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you really wanna rock with me, shit, this how I come. You know, baggy t shirt, baggy pants, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't really got nothing, you know what I mean? You gonna have to pay for the meals, I'm gonna have to lay up with you. You gonna have to buy me the PF5 and shit, but hey. Thug Max, I'll give you like 30 kids. How about that? <laughs> I'll give you like 30 kids. Shit, what, what do you say? You know what I'm saying? And these are the types of men that these women, specifically black women, fall in love with. That's what she Oh, I loved him. I loved him. Uh, yeah, you loved him because he was a Thug Max Alpha Sim. <clears throat> and he was everything that the rap music videos told you that you wanted except for the money part so guys make sure you understand the concept of thug max alpha sim don't cry over spilled milk i know a lot of you guys still want to date within the community um me i have revoked my community community card i am no longer dating within the community however i know some of you guys still do want to date within the community so um you know either you pull off the thug max alpha sim swag or you know, you make sure that you understand which uh, types of women are going for the Thug Max Alpha Sim so that you can avoid them and get you a more down to earth, um, proper woman from the community, which is going to be very difficult. But, you know, it's possible. My issue is <clears throat> you have women who, you know, she pretty much seems like maybe she's educated. Um, she is attractive. She's in shape. But the best look and i'm not gonna say she's the best looking woman in the community top but i mean she's like a six to six and a half and that is not normal um in the community top because we have a 75 percent obesity rate so it's even hard for a lot of our sisters to get over the four hump because of their size so when you do have a woman who's in shape and you know she's got a clear face clear skin seemingly natural hair and she's beautiful like this and she's going to the Thug Max Alpha Simp, it, it, it completely demoralizes regular, normal black men who don't want to be a part of the streets because you're like, man, I'm doing everything right. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And the beautiful black women are not choosing the competent black men. They are choosing the Thug Max Alpha Simps. So anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship request to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your mother freaking day with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.